Hey, we're here with Paul Walter Hauser, star of I, Tanya, Black Klansman, nominated this year for an Academy Award Best Picture, my dude. Look at this guy, he's on top of the world, he knows it, he shows it. My kids saw you, they were with my wife, Tawny. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. How's it you feel? You took kids to see which film? To see Black Klansman. Oh God, how old are your kids? They loved it. <laughs> There's six, seven, and nine. The, now they're a big Adam Driver fan. They didn't know the context. Oh, Star of, Wars, right? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. They didn't really get the context of the movie, what it was all well, about. To well, be honest, it's not that important. But you, you on the other hand, were so funny in it. Uh, thanks, man. Ivan Horn was that the name of your character? Uh, Ivanhoe. Yeah. So funny. Tell us a little bit about that. Take me through the process. <clears throat> the process was tough because you really got to wrap your head around being this like racist sort of unkind difficult. person um and uh and i think i think we've all met people like that if we depending on where we're from i'm from michigan and okay. the west a lot of racist <laughs> not a lot of racist i'm not trying to say that now tell me this adam drive what kind of guy is he good in a bar fight good in a bar fight <laughs> i mean i imagine I'm there's really. lots of different kind this I, guy is Adam really Robert, good he's a very competent actor yeah, Spike but, Lee, did you guys go to a little basketball game and put on the the jerseys and root uh, for the Knicks. What was that like seeing a game with Spike Lee? Yeah, we, I mean, I didn't go with him. The, the story's pretty funny. I actually, I wanted to ask Spike if he'd get me tickets to a Knicks game. Because I'm like, I'm not going to ask to sit courtside. Like, I'm not going <clears> to <throat> be that guy. And then he left early to go to a Knicks game, and I didn't get to ask him on set. And then my cast member, my, my co-worker... Ryan Eggold of the show New Amsterdam on NBC. I, mean, I love him. Uh, He's so funny in that show. Well, it's not really a comedy. <laughs> you were fantastic in Black Klansman. Let me ask you, Paul. Thank you. Oh, but I didn't even. <laughs> I it's, didn't even you know, it's, it's one of the story. Did I finish my story? I'm so, absolutely, absolutely. So Spike leaves for the Knicks game. I don't get to go. I don't get to ask him. Ryan Eggold says to me, he goes, he goes, I have courtside seats to the Knicks. Do you want to join me? And I thought that is the most oddly ironic thing because like my dream was like maybe this Spike will get me tickets. Maybe I'll sit in the nosebleeds. And then I end up sitting four rows or four seats down from Spike. And like three seats away from me is John McEnroe and Michael Chase from Weekend smokes. Update. Like it was one of the craziest nights of my life. And then what happened? <laughs> the fact that I had to sit courtside, I think, was pretty crazy. It was it was quite an experience to be that. Close. Oh, I, I thought there's more after the Spike Lee. No, no. You you reference Black Klansman. So much heavy material besides the humor. Yeah. How do we solve racism in three words? <laughs> three words. Just, what the, what Paul Walter has with you. Absolutely. You don't have to say my full name to restart a sentence. It's okay. Now, Late Night. That's a movie, right? You did. It is. You were just at Sundance. Now, isn't it weird doing a show that kind of talks about another show? Um, Late Night is a film I did with Mindy Kaling and Emma Thompson and Nisha Ganatra. It's a female directed, written, and starred film. And, um, and it is right up there with. James L. Brooks Broadcast News and Devil Wars Prada. It's, it's I a love terrific it. workplace film. That's so funny. I love it. Now, I, Tanya, you played the lovable goofball Sean. And my man, Margot Robbie, good gravy. Good looking gal. What was that like? What was what like? <laughs> what was your experience with Margot? My experience with Margot is she's a consummate professional who I would, I would jump at the chance to work with again. Paul. I follow you on social media, my main man, and I gotta say, a lot of talk about you doing a big push to play the Penguin in the new Batman movie. I, I, I've seen the stuff you posted, and I gotta say, I'm impressed. Now, I'd like to uh, get you the part. Why don't I play the Batman, and you can do the role of the Penguin. We'll just do a little impromptu fun here. So, sure. so you show me what you got for the version, your version, of the Penguin. <clears throat> um. Penguin, you do good, her hands in the air. I'm the Batman. And you're going down to Gotham Town, my main man. You go. This is a, this is like if Batman was written by like a fifth grader. <laughs> okay, we can take it. We can take it. We're improvising, There's so no... I'll, go, I'll go a little darker in tone. We'll do a little bit of Chris Nolan. That sound okay? Okay, absolutely. All right, here we go. All right. So you'll play, you'll play the penguin, and I'll be the Batman. Okay. <clears throat> Joker, I'm going to... Oh, you're the penguin. Okay, we'll take this game. Here he is. Now, see, you've got this intensity already. I love it. But I'm going to have to ask you, Penguin, to step out of that vehicle, because you're coming with the Batman, and I'm taking you downtown, my main man, how's that sound? I love that I'm your main man. <laughs> I, I love that I'm your, your villain of the day, but the reality is, Batman, 
I don't want to be a villain. I want to be a hero. Maybe do it a little, little bit darker. Just really commit to this stuff. A little bit darker? I thought it was great, but I, the stuff you had on social media was much better than that. I think, you know, well, when you get couple, in the audition room. A couple room, swings at that. Yeah, yeah this, was, a, this was overwhelming. Okay, you know what? Why don't I just wrap this up? Thank you for tuning in, America. This is your show. Hey, America. Hey, I am your host, Paul Walter Hauser. Skip, thank you for your time. Yeah, th thanks for having me. Yeah, okay. Bye. <laughs>